Alrighty, good morning people and welcome to the Dan Dawson Show. So this morning I have a little type of different story for you. I don't want my uh, channel to be all bad news and politics and blah, 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 blah. You know, I'll just call them out when I see them. Which reminds me I have an episode coming up after this that you're going to love. <clears throat> but this one is about Justin Gavin. The article is from Today, Today Magazine. It's by Rachel Sukal. It was written Friday, September 18, 2020. It says, Hero Teen Saves Mother, Three Children from Burning Car. Gavin 18 is a lifesaver, literally. On September 9th, Gavin was heading to Walgreens in Waterbury, Kentucky, or Connecticut, Kentucky. I don't know why I was thinking Kentucky. To pick up some items for his sister, when he and numerous others noticed a car was engulfed in flames and driving down the street erratically. The car drove past me. On fire, recalls Gavin, a student at Boys and Girls High School in Brooklyn, New York, who is temporarily living in Connecticut. The car came to a stop and Gavin raced to help the driver and passengers. A mother at the wheel with three young children in the back. Says Gavin was scared the car might explode, but raced up anyway. The door handle in the back was, it was hot to the touch, he recalls, and he quickly asked a nine-year-old child to please unbuckle her younger siblings, ages four to one, from their seatbelt and car seat so he could carry them to safety. Then he helped the mom out of the driver's seat. It's believed the fire was started from some type of electrical failure. <clears throat> so the Waterbury uh, Chief of Police Fernando Spagnola goes on to say he rewarded basically he rewarded Gavin for his heroic act by giving him a challenge coin an award generally given to a standout police officer challenge coins are these custom made coins and they're like really a big thing in the military they have been for years uh, so that was actually pretty cool he goes on to say, Justin showed the country we need each other and need to engage in selfless acts, Spagnola told Today Parents. Actions like this show how we as a society get through social unrest with an open heart and an open mind. Justin's getting the attention he deserves, and we want more of this. What he did was so awesome. So Justin goes on to say, uh, some people think teens are lazy, but that's not true. He said, I wouldn't consider myself a hero. I just want someone to help me if I were, if I was in that situation. And that's where I ran to the car. This is really about someone else's well-being, not mine. Wow. So that statement from an 18, an 18 year old, uh, teenager or young man, right? It's really a very strong statement. And, you know, gives me a lot of hope for the future. Uh, just this article. And I hope it does it for you. Go and read it. It's a, it's a good read kind of really gave me a lot of hope because all we're seeing on the news nowadays are these young people <clears throat> killing stuff rioting looting burning down um and it's really kind of disheartening and sometimes we forget there are young adults out there like this that are willing to make that uh, sacrifice um gavin goes on to say i feel good about it says gavin is saving the family situations can be scary Especially if your life is in danger, but if you jump in action and help someone, you feel good about it. So, well, uh, it's a young black man. I, did I mention that? I don't think I did. It's this young black kid, 18. And uh, you notice it never crossed his mind whether the family was white, black, Hispanic, or whatever they were. He saw people in trouble and he went to help. We actually honestly need more of that in our society. So I say, hey, my applause to you, Gavin. Uh, great move, good job, very proud of you. So keep up the good work. I'm pretty sure you'll go far. And and also, I, I want to, you know, big get, give a big clap to uh, his parents and to the adults in his life because they did a good job with this young man. He's well spoken, very respectful, and he's willing to put it all on the line to help a stranger. So very good job to the parents and adults around him, including the teachers and everybody. But very good job with this young man. So thank you for checking out this episode of Dan Dawson Show. Um, like, subscribe, do what you got to do.